Welcome viewers. Now I would like to take this opportunity to talk to you about rims. Whether it's to perform or repair, update the look of a vehicle, or to increase the performance of a vehicle, it's important to know what the markings and indications both on the rim and on the tires mean so that you're able to get the right part for your job. For today's example, we'll be using a 15 inch Ford Fiesta eight spoke rim that I'll be teaching you how to take those measurements on yourself. Please excuse my beat up whiteboard, but this is gonna help us keep track of our calculations. So diameter, width, and back spacing are all things that we're gonna physically measure. Your offset is something you'll calculate based off of these things. Now in order to take all of these measurements, you're gonna want a straight edge of some kind. In this case, it happens to just be a piece of scrap metal. It can be anything, a two by four, uh, a level, anything with a sharp edge is going to be the easiest to measure off of and to be the most accurate. So first off, we're gonna measure the diameter. Now you don't wanna measure the diameter of the lip, you have to measure the diameter of the bead seat. So in order to do that, all you have to do is measure from the lip down to the face of the bead seat. We have about three quarters of an inch. Across the whole diameter, that's gonna be an inch and a half. Now, measure the whole face of the rim. In this case, it happens to be about 16 and a half inches. So subtract the three quarters of an inch on each side of the rim to get 15 inches, 15 inch rim. Next, we're gonna measure the width of the rim. Same thing with the diameter. You don't wanna be measuring lip to lip, so you have to drop it down into the bead seat and measure the bead seat. In this case, six inches. Easiest measurement you're gonna take. Next, we're gonna measure back spacing, and that's the distance from the hub face to the rear of the rim. So like I said, we're gonna grab a straight edge for this measurement, lay it across the back of the rim, and measure down to the hub face. That gives us five and one quarter inches. So now we're gonna measure our offset, which is a basic calculation from the center line of the rim, which in this case is gonna be three inches, to the hub mounting surface of the rim. Now offset is a calculation made in millimeters, um, so we just have to do a simple conversion for that. So our overall height on the rim is going to be 176 millimeters. Half of that, of course, is going to be 88 millimeters. The height from our hub mounting surface to our straight edge is 133 millimeters. 176 millimeters divided by two. So now that we have this information, we're able to calculate our offset. We have an overall height of 176 millimeters from the rear lip to the face of the rim. Divide that in two and you have 88 millimeters and that is your center line or about three inches. The height from the hub mounting surface to our straight edge on the back lip of our rim is 133 millimeters. 133 millimeters minus our center line, which is 88, gives us 45 millimeters, and that is our offset. Now written out, that measurement is gonna look something like this. 15 by six by 45. 15 being the overall diameter of the rim. That's the diameter you would shop for tires. Six inches being the overall width of the rim, which is something that'll also help you shop for tires. Uh, and 45 being the offset of the rim, which is not helpful for shopping for tires, but it is helpful for picking the right rim to suit your application, whatever that may be. So to help to understand offset a little bit more, assume we took a rim like this and cut it right in half this way so that you were looking at a profile, you take the front half, chuck it away, you're just looking at the back half, cut right in half. And that looks something like this. So now to help make this a little bit more understandable, I want to break down those measurements a little bit more. This right here is the overall diameter of the rim. And that was our 15 inch measurement. This right here, between the two lips of the rim, that was our six inch measurement, and that was our overall width of the rim. Now our offset is a distance from an imaginary center line down the middle of the rim to the hub mounting surface here. This is the part that actually touches the suspension when you bolt a wheel on. Now this measurement here is the offset measurement, and that is our 45 millimeter measurement. Now as you can see here, this Offset measurement is a positive 45. What positive offset is, is when the, the hub mounting surface of the rim is outward from the center line. So this is towards the street side or towards the front face of the rim. Now what negative offset is, would be on the, the somewhat similar rim, 15 inches by six inches, 
but now we have a negative offset because it's behind the center line of the rim. This still being the front, the street side. This is what we call a deep dish rim because the hub mounting surface is back here. So it's the same measurement you're going to take from the center line over to the hub mounting surface. Assume this is a negative 50, which is huge. That is negative offset. So same numbers, different offset. And this looks different in that this is a 15 inch by 6 inch by 45. This one is a 15 inch by 6 inch by negative 50. And that is the offset for that ring. Now what's known as a neutral offset is when the hub mounting surface of the rim falls directly on that center line. So again, same measurements, 15 inches by six inches, gonna be written as 15 by six by zero. You can even express this as 15 by six. And that is what's known as neutral offset. Now it is sometimes as simple as looking at the back of the rim. Oftentimes manufacturers will leave castings or markings in the rim indicating those same measurements but I wanted to show you how to get to those measurements yourself so you're able to pick the right rims and tires or whatever your application is. All right guys, I hope that's helped you understand how to select rims, how to look at rims, how to measure rims. I wanted to say that usually the deep dish look or the negative offset rim is something you'd see on a lot of show cars, maybe drift cars, maybe some sports cars depending on the effects you're going for, but typically deep dish is reserved for looks. I don't know of any application in which it would benefit the driver to have a deep dish look because that puts the rim way far out from the car. And this information comes in handy of course when looking for new rims, whether you're trying to upgrade the look, upgrade the performance, or just replace a rim, these numbers are important. Modifying these numbers in any way can of course affect the car in a number of different ways. For example, if you have similar wheels with two different offsets, that puts the tread patch of the tire in different locations from the car. And that can of course affect handling in a number of different ways which may not be anticipated. So that's just something to look out for before just throwing rims in a car. Also, and probably the most important for daily driven cars, is the fitment around suspension components, especially your brakes. Your calipers are of course a limiting factor in how small you can get, but also the offset backwards towards the rim. If there's too little offset, well, you may not be able to clear the calipers and you're not going to be able to put that rim on in the first place. That'll be pretty obvious. A less obvious example, of course, is if you put the rim on the hub when the hub is in a straight line, and then you go to turn the wheel in the front axle of a car, you may end up hitting suspension parts like sway bars or rubbing on the inner tire well. Just things to look out for uh, and to know what those measurements look like. There are, of course, different calculations out there, and of course, people all over the internet who have tried a number of different size ranges of different things on their car. So do your research before spending a lot of money on rims because you may not be satisfied with what you get and then you're kind of stuck with it. Oftentimes you can't return them, but it's better to not risk it and just try to get the right rims the first time. Anyway guys, that's all I've got. Thanks for sticking with me. Stay tuned for the next episode. Um, I don't know what's gonna happen, but stay tuned for it. That might not make it in the cut. I'm sure it'll be exciting. Welcome viewers. Welcome viewers. Welcome viewers. Welcome viewers. Welcome viewers. I would like to take this opportunity to talk to you about rims. Ah, oh, that was cool, but you couldn't see it. Man. Okay.